Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. Today I'm going to talk to you about another Lexus LX. I believe we have five in stock at the moment, including two LX570s and three LX470s. This particular car I think is quite special because of its condition. It's in particularly good condition inside and out. It's done 109,000 kilometres since new and it's a prestige. We'll start it up. What also makes this car unique is it benefits from having fuel, unleaded fuel and gas, which gives you a significant saving. Being a prestige, um, it still comes with everything. It doesn't come with a few little things like your distance cruise control and some heated air conditioned seats. But it does have reverse camera, navigation, Bluetooth technology. It's got an auxiliary input as well. It's got your very clever four-wheel drive system. Um, it's got high range and low range, which is pretty normal. But what is very special, I think, is your crawl control. You've got three speeds. So you literally put it in low range, put it in neutral, press on. You put it to your desired speed. I think it's anything from three to five to ten kilometres per hour and the car just drives for you. It automatically puts power to the wheel with grip. You've also got your comfort and sport settings for the suspension here. It's actually very good. The problem with the 470 is it had four settings for the suspension and it's sort of, you know, you're sort of thinking, well, really you just want comfort, sport or normal. And um, it was always a bit confusing and, this, and they've done that with the new ones. So you've got comfort, normal, sport, simple. You've still got your three settings for the height, so you've got high, normal, low. Nice and simple. It's also got push button start. Looks like every single service has been done at Lexus. It's got two remote keys. And it's still got your centre diff lock here. And it's got a power tailgate. But I think it all in all is a very, very impressive car. We've just given it a quick wash, but you can see the condition is very good. Turn it off now. So it has memory electric driver's seat. By the way, the exterior is also in impeccable condition. Right down to the wheels, the side steps. That's my jacket, I'll put that over there. It's got rear entertainment, rear air conditioning. I don't think the back seats have been used because they're actually not even in there at the moment. We do have them. They came to us in um, a couple of bags um, as they were never used. So there's a good chance this actually hasn't been a family car, which is possibly why it's in such good condition. I'm selling my LX470 at the moment. It's the same situation. I don't have any children. It's just been for my wife and I, and we had our very back seats in the garage and um, we never use them. You'd say, well, why would you have an eight-seater car if there's only two of you? Well, it's because they're absolutely reliable. They're economic, well, they're economical on the freeway and they're economical in terms of your ongoing running costs. In the back here, you've got these buttons. You can actually electrically um, put the rear seats up and down, which is fantastic. And a click of a button, the tailgate folds away. So yeah, on the freeway, I was getting around 11 to 11 and a half litres per 100 kilometres, which is pretty impressive when you consider a diesel. In fact, a diesel Sahara, I'm told, gets around 9 or 10. So although around town the petrols use quite a bit of fuel, on the freeway they're not too bad. But this car, as I said, benefits from having LPG. I actually drove this over the weekend just because I was interested to see how it drove after having a 470. There's the gas tank under there. And it was smooth. I filled up the gas tank which cost about $35 or $40. And I did over 100 kilometres over the weekend. And it's still got more than three quarters of a tank, which is impressive. 
it's got the new digital gas system which is much better than the previous systems they had beyond taxis and things so when you start the car cold it, run, it actually runs on petrol and then when it starts to warm up it then switches over to gas apparently it's better for the engine it's better for the car and the new digital system is much better for your fuel economy so you can see it's got headlight protectors it's got some nice Cooper Discoverer tyres it's got weather shields as well and it really drove beautifully and 109,000 kilometres on one of these is very low and you'd say well it's over 100,000 kilometres that doesn't sound low well if you look online you'll find LX570 to 300,000 kilometres a lot of them with 200 180,000 kilometres etc so for an LX570 from 2008 it's actually very low kilometres and for me personally I'd much rather invest in something like this than a diesel Sahara because you don't have to worry about the fuel because it's running on, on gas you get all the luxury features and you've got that beautiful V8 we'll open the bonnet it's also got keyless entry, keyless start so you just when your hand goes behind there, in fact I could probably do it now I'll wait till we look in, under the bonnet yeah so it's nice and clean never been involved in an accident or anything like that so to lock the car you can simply just press that and walk away then to unlock it, unlocked, open. It's nice and easy. A lot of people say, what's what's the biggest difference really between a 470 and a 57? I know they look completely different. Um, well, there's a number of extras, in fact. You're going from a 4.7 litre V8 to a 5.7 litre V8. You think, oh, that's going to use a lot more fuel. Well, if you actually look at the statistics, it uses less fuel because it's not working as hard. It's got nearly 300 kilowatts of power. And the biggest problem with the 470 is its performance. It was very good. They're very good off the mark, but in terms of overtaking, um, you know, to have a car which is nearly three tons with 170 kilowatts um, isn't great if you've got a f your family in the car and you over want to overtake people going to the snow, or whatever it might be. Whereas this has absolutely no problems. I believe it's right to 100 in around seven seconds or just under seven seconds compared to the 470 which is probably around 10 seconds. But if you've been looking at these 570s and you know, you've know you been a bit disappointed with the condition this is a car you should definitely come and have a look at. It's absolutely stunning and as I said it does have two keys Lexus books, it's on gas, someone spent a lot of money converting it. It's got all the original books in here Rear Entertainment, the Mark Leveson sound system. It still has your Xenon high beams, which is very, very good. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our video. If you are looking for an LX of any series, really, whether it be a 470 or a 570, I think you should definitely come in, as I don't think there's many, many dealers who can say they have five Lexus LXs in stock. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I certainly don't think it's been a waste of your time. I think you, if you are interested, you should definitely come and have a look at this car or have it inspected. So it's a very impressive vehicle. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you. We are the Old Timer Centre, and we're located 20 minutes from Sydney Airport.